It's tornado season in many parts of the nation right now, but it won't be long before we're talking about hurricane season. 22 News reporter and Storm Team meteorologist Nick Bannon is in uh, Cape Cod with an inside look at a specially equipped hurricane hunter plane. Most pilots actually steer their planes outside of storms and around storms, but this plane actually gets steered into storms. That's because this plane is known as the Hurricane Hunter. It's a plane built strong enough to handle the very strong winds of a hurricane so that it can collect information about a hurricane's intensity and direction so that the hurricane forecast can be issued. These forecasts lead to hurricane watches and warnings, which save lives. The plane, one of two Hurricane Hunter aircraft that exist in the country, is specially equipped with its own Doppler radar under the belly of the aircraft, as well as various equipment on board, so that large amounts of data can be studied by the onboard crew and analyzed. I spoke with members of the crew who fly into the eye of some of the strongest hurricanes, including storms that have affected us here in western Massachusetts. The worst ones for us aren't necessarily the worst ones for you on the ground. The worst ones for us are the intensifying storms. The worst ones are for you are the big mature storms that come ashore. So uh, for us, we want to avoid anything that's growing and growing fast because that really hurts. I mean, we're not going to turn around when we see a storm coming like that because there's too many people depending on us to get the information to them. So, you know, we'll try to ex examine the storm very carefully using our radars and our other instrumentation we have on board the aircraft to get through the storm. Contrary to what you might believe, Hurricane Hunter aircraft actually have a smoother ride in the strongest hurricanes. That's because weaker hurricanes are more unstable and make for a bumpy ride. Atlantic hurricane season begins in less than a month on June 1st and lasts until the end of November. In Cape Cod, meteorologist Nick Bannon, 22 News. No big